Chris, when you look at like the last 15 games, you're kind of assessing that nine wins, um, six losses. What do you think your team's maturity level, if you could reflect on that a little bit, has been through that period? Have you seen some things that you're liking and some changes through that difficult period? Um. I think generally our maturity level has been good all season. I think, you know, we've had a few moments of probably immature play or, um, you know, we've talked about it, uh, having lost a little bit of our offensive identity. Um, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, we knew going into this stretch, it was you know, 16 games of teams above 500 all in a row, most of them on the road. We knew it was going to be a, a big stretch for us. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're pretty pleased. I think there was a few that we kicked away. Um, that we'd like to have back, you know, uh, or didn't give our best best performance. Um, but that's going to happen in a long season. So I think um, it was a good stabilizing period for us. You know, I don't think we can expect to have gone 14 and two or anything like that. But um, yeah, so. Do you like how they're kind of handling each individual game, regardless of who the team is? Yeah, I do. I think our approach has been really consistent. Um, you know. It's also been a pretty tough travel schedule for us. I think, you know, we all go through it at some point, so it's not an excuse in any way. But um, it has kind of, with the holidays stuff, kind of taken its toll a little bit on us. But I think I sense a freshness in the group for um, the first time, you know, consistently in the last week. So, um, so that's good. That's a positive. Out. Yeah, I mean, we're, I'm excited to be able to give, uh, you know, some minutes to both Troy and Shake. Um, you know, those guys are rotation NBA players who, you know, spent the bulk of the time starting um, last season at, at, mo at points. So, um, you know, and just the way that we're set up, it's hard to get those guys in. Um, so, yeah, so we're definitely going to use everybody that we have to tonight. So. Yeah, you know, just get his aggressiveness back. Um, you know, I think he was actually starting to find his rhythm um, when when Jaden came back. You know, right around the time that Jaden came back from his second injury, um, I kind of liked how he was playing there. Um, you know, all credit to Shake. He he came in like really trying to fit in, and um, you know, we kept push, pushing him to be more aggressive, be more aggressive. He's used to being uh, kind of a primary ball handler. And in our roster, we have a lot of guys who can handle the ball, especially in that second unit. So I think that's affected his aggressiveness somewhat. But um, try to get the ball in his hands and see what he can do with it. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, offensively, it's pretty similar. You know, I think um, it all depends on how they match up, depending on what, might, what you might do in that, that end of the floor. It's really about pick and roll coverage. You know, it's at the five, um, bulk of his defense is generally in pick and roll. Uh, at the four, most of his defense is off the ball. And um, so that's, you know, that's it. And then it's just like figuring out through the game what's the best coverage that we want to have them in. Um, but everything else is pretty pretty consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, you know, big we're a big proponent of all all of our guys playing in the summer if they're given the opportunity. Um, you know, last year he missed fifty five games or fifty four games or whatever it was. So I think what was it was even more important that he plays this year just to go out play. Just kind of get his feel for the game back. You know, the ball was going to be in his hand a ton. He was going to shoot a ton of shots. He was going to be at the center of everything that they were doing. Because um, when he joined us at the end of last season, right before the playoffs, like, you know, he was just trying to fit into what we were kind of already doing at that point. And, uh, you know, as that season and series wore on, he kind of grew into it. But um, you know, I think it was really good for him. I know he, I know he enjoyed it. Um, and I, I, he came into camp with a 
you know, really great attitude on the back of it. So. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was again, um, you know, excited. I mean, he was excited for his performance. You know, he, he, I was really excited when he decided he wanted to play. So, I mean, I didn't break down their film, if you say. But um, yeah, it was. I thought he did. It was good to see him out there. There was like no hesitation in anything he was doing. No lingering effects from any of his injuries or something. Like that, so. Chris, when did you guys get into town? And then about one o'clock this afternoon. The available. Pardon. Uh, no, not. I mean, I think uh, it's just more nagging injuries, and you know, it's a little bit of a cramp schedule. So, do you address it with your team beforehand, or is it just kind of a business as usual? The travel issues, changing routine, and, and I mean, it's pretty much as business as usual, as much as it can be. You know, um, so we we found out as soon as the game ended last night, we knew what our fate was going to be. So we we got to the hotel, we were able to get settled, kind of a pretty smooth day up here. Um, so it's all about their individual routines and how they'll be able to kind of cope with the change in that. But no excuses. We're here to play. We're here to try to win the game. So. Joe Mazzullo just asked about it, and he said he used to drive a van to a D2 school to play in front of 50 people. So pretty much no, it doesn't seem to really affect. So I'm wondering yeah. for you guys, for NBA players, and stuff like that kind of overflow. I mean, I think if you give, no matter what level of basketball, if you lay out excuses for people to to – to not play well, they're generally going to take it. So, you know, it's no excuse for us. we got to go and play. Um, and, you know, I think Indiana had a similar situation. Um, you know, on a regular back-to-back, -back, like we'd probably get to the hotel around 3, 3.30 last night. So I don't know how much better that is or not. Um. <clears throat> I don't really look at it like that. I look at it like what we're doing is a bit of a continuum from last year. I don't know if uh, with where we are is reflective of who we are. You know, um, I think it's still too early to tell. We'll add it all up when it, you know at the end of the day. Um, we do feel pretty confident about our identity, um, what we have in our locker room, the way we play every night. Our guys like playing with each other. Uh, we still got some young guys that are trying to grow up quickly and we got great veterans that have mentored, mentored them that and um, it's all come together maybe a little quicker than we thought I mean last year when we made the trade we thought it would take 50 you know 50 to 60 games maybe for us to like just kind of figure it all out from a on the floor point of view um, and I you know and honestly that's probably what it's taken it's just been all chopped up over two seasons um, but we you know we still have a long way to go and you know we have a lot of stuff to try to prove to ourselves let alone everyone else so Yeah. No, nah, it'll be probably by committee. You know, we have a number of guys who we feel comfortable handling the ball and initiating stuff. So. Mike was kind of saying last night that he felt like you know this team maybe turned a corner again, just kind of getting some of that energy, that yeah. pop, that that was back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so, definitely. We talked a lot about that going into the Houston game. I mean, we lost two games in a row for the first time all season before that. Um, we really weren't playing with a lot of juice. Defensively, we kind of had let, let, let it slide. So, um, we got, you know, we got that back. You know, Dallas game was we, one we really thought we should have had. Um, um, but, yeah, so it's been trending back in the right direction. And, you know, the biggest test will be tonight. So, it's a good time for it. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.